Want to speak real English from your first lesson? Sign up for your free lifetime account at EnglishClass101.com. Want to completely understand everything in your target language? In this guide, you'll learn the top 10 ways to improve your listening skills with our lessons. Let's begin. Number one, take your very first lesson. The best way to practice listening is to just start listening. Expose yourself to native speakers as much as possible. So access any audio or video lesson on the site and press the play button to get started. You can do the lessons on the site or on the app while you're on the go. Don't have an account? Don't worry. Just go to the sign up page to create an account. It takes less than 30 seconds and it's free. Then click on the play button on any lesson and start learning. Number two, slow the lesson down. Now, if a conversation is too fast for you, simply adjust the playback speed in the lesson control bar and listen to it again at a slower speed. This will help you understand every word. Another way to pick apart every word that you hear is read along as you listen. Just read along as you listen and you'll never miss a word. You can read along with the lesson notes or lesson transcript that come with every lesson. The lesson notes give you the dialogue, the translations, and in-depth grammar tutorials. The lesson transcript is the full word-for-word -word transcript of everything you hear. You can also read along with the dialogue study tool, which gives you the line-by-line -line breakdown of the conversation, including the audio and translations. Number four, listen to the line-by-line -line breakdown with the very same dialogue study tool. What makes this tool so powerful is you can listen to each line individually and replay it as much as you want until you understand every single word. This is useful for mastering fast conversations that you would miss otherwise. Number five, listen to the dialogue track. The dialogue track gives you the conversation of that lesson in the target language only, no translations. And you have this tool in every audio lesson. Listen to it and see how much you can understand. Number six, download the dialogue tracks and make a playlist. This is a great immersion tactic. Download the tracks to your computer or mobile device. Then play them on a loop to immerse yourself in the language and improve your listening skills. Each track is only about 10 to 30 seconds, so it won't take you long. Number seven, play the vocabulary slideshow. You get the slideshow study tool with all of our audio lessons and vocabulary lists. Click on Start Slideshow, sit back, and listen. You can also play it on loop and immerse yourself in the language. Number eight, get listening assignments from your Premium Plus teacher. You can also get assignments covering reading, writing, speaking, and even listening from your teacher. These assignments can be tailored to your goals and needs. You can get a new one every week or anytime you're ready for a new one. Number nine, take the listening comprehension lessons. These lessons are designed to test your listening skills. You'll hear a dialogue in the target language, and based on the dialogue, you'll be asked to answer a question to check if you understood. There are no translations here, except for the subtitles. Read along with the subtitles to understand everything. Number 10, get even more lessons in the lesson library. If you want even more lessons from absolute beginner level to advanced, then visit our lesson library. You get instant access to all of the pathways and lessons that will help you master all areas of the language, including listening. A woman bought a bed. Where is she going to put it? Your new bed. It's huge. Yep. I can't put it by the door. Let's put it at the other end of the room. Shall we put it in the middle? No, let's put it in the corner. Okay, sounds good. Can you help me lift it? Where is she going to put it? A woman bought a bed. Where is she going to put it? Your new bed. It's huge. Yep. I can't put it by the door. Let's put it at the other end of the room. Shall we put it in the middle? No. Let's put it in the corner. 
Okay, sounds good. Can you help me lift it? A man and a woman are talking. How many people in total are coming to the party? The party's tomorrow. Who's coming? Well, the two of us, two friends of mine, and my pottery teacher. That will make five then. Oh, well, my teacher's also bringing his wife. Wow, a big party then. How many people in total are coming to the party? A man and a woman are talking. How many people in total are coming to the party? The party's tomorrow. Who's coming? Well, the two of us, two friends of mine, and my pottery teacher. That will make five then. Oh, well, my teacher's also bringing his wife. Wow, a big party then. A man and a woman are talking. How many people in total are coming to the party? The party's tomorrow. Who's coming? Well, the two of us, two friends of mine, and my pottery teacher. That will make five then. Oh, well, my teacher's also bringing his wife. Wow, a big party then. How many people in total are coming to the party? A man and a woman are talking. How many people in total are coming to the party? The party's tomorrow. Who's coming? Well, the two of us, two friends of mine, and my pottery teacher. That will make five then. Oh, well, my teacher's also bringing his wife. Wow, a big party then. A woman is looking at clothes in a boutique. What is she going to buy? Wow, this blue skirt and that white skirt. I like them both. The white skirt is really popular right now. The blue one's a bit expensive, too. Well, that's true, but it suits you. Um, I can't afford both. I'll take the white one. An excellent choice. Thank you very much. What is she going to buy? A woman is looking at clothes in a boutique. What is she going to buy? Wow, this blue skirt and that white skirt. I like them both. The white skirt is really popular right now. The blue one's a bit expensive, too. Well, that's true, but it suits you. Um, I can't afford both. I'll take the white one. An excellent choice. Thank you very much. A man and a woman are talking. How old is the man now? Your birthday is really soon, isn't it? Yep, it's the day after tomorrow. How old are you going to be? I'm turning 60. Congratulations, we should celebrate. Thank you very much, it's kind of you to say. How old is the man now? A man and a woman are talking. How old is the man now? Your birthday is really soon, isn't it? Yep, it's the day after tomorrow. How old are you going to be? I'm turning 60. Congratulations, we should celebrate. Thank you very much, it's kind of you to say. A woman is in a department store. Which floor is she going to? Excuse me, where are the children's clothes? They're on the fifth and sixth floors. Do you also have baby clothes? Yes, they're on the sixth floor. We have a lot there. Thank you very much. I'll go and have a look there. Which floor is she going to? A woman is in a department store. Which floor is she going to? Excuse me, where are the children's clothes? They're on the fifth and sixth floors. Do you also have baby clothes? 
Yes, they're on the sixth floor. We have a lot there. Thank you very much. I'll go and have a look there. Want to speak real English from your first lesson? Sign up for your free lifetime account at EnglishClass101.com. Today we're going to talk about four techniques to help you stop translating in your head and instead start thinking in your target language. This will allow you to have conversations with ease, read smoothly, and better understand native speakers. These are four methods to help you think in a new language. Number one, surround yourself with your target language. This way, you'll be completely immersed in the language. Without realizing it, you'll learn pronunciation, sentence structures, grammar, and new vocabulary. Play music in the background while you're cooking, or have a radio station on while you study. Just use one of our endless podcasts available to you. These are easy to listen to in the background while doing other things. Number two, learn through observation. This is how we all learned our native languages as kids. Words will develop their own meanings that relate better to your target language, rather than meanings that are translated directly. Number three, speak out loud to yourself. Even if you're a little embarrassed, it forces you to listen to how you speak. It makes it much easier to spot simple grammar mistakes. Number four, practice daily. If you practice everything for only one day, you won't retain the information you learned. The brain can realistically only focus for about 30 minutes. So studying a little every day allows you to absorb better. Follow these steps and have patience. You'll soon be able to achieve your language learning goals. Just make sure to remember these four methods. Two bakers are talking. How are they going to display their bread? This new cheesy bread isn't selling well, is it? No, we placed it on the top shelf, though. Hmm, maybe it's too high for some people. They probably can't see it. Then let's put it on the middle shelf. Sounds good. They'll see it when they first come into the store. And why don't we put a red cloth on this shelf so that they know it's our new bread? All right. Then we'll have to move the croissants to somewhere else. Top or bottom? Why don't we put our regular items on the top shelf? They'll sell well even if they're not easy to spot. That has to be the French bread then. Let's put it in a basket so it'll stand out. Good idea. Now, the croissants have to be on the bottom. Okay. How does it look? Looks good. Let's see how it goes for a week and then decide if we need to make any adjustments. How are they going to display their bread? Two bakers are talking. How are they going to display their bread? This new cheesy bread isn't selling well, is it? No, we placed it on the top shelf, though. Hmm, maybe it's too high for some people. They probably can't see it. Then let's put it on the middle shelf. Sounds good. They'll see it when they first come into the store. And why don't we put a red cloth on this shelf so that they know it's our new bread? All right, then we'll have to move the croissants to somewhere else. Top or bottom? Why don't we put our regular items on the top shelf? They'll sell well even if they're not easy to spot. That has to be the French bread then. Let's put it in a basket so it'll stand out. Good idea. Now, the croissants have to be on the bottom. Okay. How does it look? Looks good. Let's see how it goes for a week and then decide if we need to make any adjustments. A male student and a female student are talking about volunteer activities. Which activities are they going to take part in? I heard we're supposed to volunteer for some activity and write a report about it for class. We can choose anything, right? What are you going to do? I haven't made up my mind yet. What about you? I haven't decided yet either. I'm interested in environmental issues, so I'm looking for something in a nature conservation group. I see. So you want to go and pick up trash off of the ground? Well, that'd be okay, actually, but I'm looking for a group activity. I want to learn more about a leadership role in this kind of organization as well, if possible. You know, 
I have a friend who helps out with a group that plants trees with kids. Are you interested in that kind of thing? Yeah, that sounds good. Thanks. It'd also be a great opportunity to interact with children. Do you want to do this too? Maybe. But I'd like to try something a bit more people focused. You know, like helping elderly or disabled people. Oh, my mother is helping out at the local senior center. Would that be interesting to you? Yes, that sounds great. Which activities are they going to take part in? A male student and a female student are talking about volunteer activities. Which activities are they going to take part in? I heard we're supposed to volunteer for some activity and write a report about it for class. We can choose anything, right? What are you going to do? I haven't made up my mind yet. What about you? I haven't decided yet either. I'm interested in environmental issues, so I'm looking for something in a nature conservation group. I see. So you want to go and pick up trash off of the ground? Well, that'd be okay, actually, but I'm looking for a group activity. I want to learn more about a leadership role in this kind of organization as well, if possible. You know, I have a friend who helps out with a group that plants trees with kids. Are you interested in that kind of thing? Yeah, that sounds good. Thanks. It'd also be a great opportunity to interact with children. Do you want to do this too? Maybe. But I'd like to try something a bit more people focused. You know, like helping elderly or disabled people. Oh, my mother is helping out at the local senior center. Would that be interesting to you? Yes, that sounds great. A woman is reporting to her boss about the results of a questionnaire. Which graph represents the employees from the B branch? Last week, we asked 200 employees to answer a questionnaire about their fitness habits. The focus of this questionnaire was on how many hours they exercise each week. Did you tally up the results for the A and B branches separately? Yes. And employees had four options, less than an hour, around one to two hours, around three to five hours, and six hours or more. Here are the results. So employees in both branches answered about one to two hours the most. Looks like they're exercising about once a week. Yes. And after that, employees in the A branch were most likely to answer about three to five hours. While in the B branch, the next most common answer was less than an hour. Hmm, not even 10% of employees at the B branch exercise more than six hours. That's right. So I was thinking we could organize weekly sports events there that anybody could casually join. That's a good idea. It'd give employees a good chance to socialize, too. I'll leave it to you. Thank you. I'll take care of it. Which graph represents the employees from the B branch? A woman is reporting to her boss about the results of a questionnaire. Which graph represents the employees from the B branch? Last week, we asked 200 employees to answer a questionnaire about their fitness habits. The focus of this questionnaire was on how many hours they exercise each week. Did you tally up the results for the A and B branches separately? Yes, and employees had four options, less than an hour, around one to two hours, around three to five hours, and six hours or more. Here are the results. So employees in both branches answered about one to two hours the most. Looks like they're exercising about once a week. Yes. And after that, employees in the A branch were most likely to answer about three to five hours. While in the B branch, the next most common answer was less than an hour. Hmm, not even 10% of employees at the B branch exercise more than six hours. That's right. So I was thinking we could organize weekly sports events there that anybody could casually join. That's a good idea. It'd give employees a good chance to socialize, too. I'll leave it to you. Thank you. 
I'll take care of it. A woman is calling on the phone to reserve tickets for a play. Which two seats did she get? Hello, this is Blackfriars Playhouse. Can I help you? I'd like to get two tickets for King Lear at 5 30 this evening. Do you still have any tickets available? We do have a few seats left, but I'm sorry to say we don't have any next to each other. If you don't mind, though, we can get you two seats separately. Okay, we don't mind. Do you have any particular requests? Well, do you have any aisle seats? Yes, we have an aisle seat at the left side of the center section. And to the right of it, three seats over, we have another free seat. To the side? Okay, then please book that aisle seat. Certainly. How about the other one? Do you have any seats near the center? The only center seats we have left are from the first row to the third row. I'm not too crazy about having actors spit on me, so. This room is relatively small, and I think you could enjoy the play even at the end of the row on the side. Is that so? Then I'll take the one you mentioned before on the left side. Which two seats did she get? A woman is calling on the phone to reserve tickets for a play. Which two seats did she get? Hello, this is Blackfriars Playhouse. Can I help you? I'd like to get two tickets for King Lear at 5 30 this evening. Do you still have any tickets available? We do have a few seats left, but I'm sorry to say we don't have any next to each other. If you don't mind, though, We can get you two seats separately. Okay, we don't mind. Do you have any particular requests? Well, do you have any aisle seats? Yes, we have an aisle seat at the left side of the center section. And to the right of it, three seats over, we have another free seat. To the side? Okay, then please book that aisle seat. Certainly. How about the other one? Do you have any seats near the center? The only center seats we have left are from the first row to the third row. I'm not too crazy about having actors spit on me, so. This room is relatively small, and I think you could enjoy the play even at the end of the row on the side. Is that so? Then I'll take the one you mentioned before on the left side. A woman is talking with a man who works for an outsourced printing company about a brochure for a new product. When is the deadline for the first design draft for the brochure? We decided to launch the new product on October 15th, and we'd like to offer you the contract to make the brochure. Thank you so much. We're definitely excited about helping you with this project. So, could you tell us a bit about the schedule? When will you need everything by? Well, considering the time needed for printing, we'd like to get the brochures to the printing stage by the end of September. So, would it be possible for you to get us the first design draft by the middle of August? Well, We'd like to give you three design options for the initial draft and then have you choose the one which best fits your concept. Then we'll make the final design based on your choice. So it'll be very helpful if you could give us two more weeks to prepare for this stage. Hmm. Okay. Maybe one month will be enough time to choose one of the designs you've made and then decide on the final design. All right. We'll be counting on you. You're in good hands. Our design team is the best. Thank you so much. When is the deadline for the first design draft for the brochure? A woman is talking with a man who works for an outsourced printing company about a brochure for a new product. When is the deadline for the first design draft for the brochure? We decided to launch the new product on October 15th, and we'd like to offer you the contract to make the brochure. Thank you so much. We're definitely excited about helping you with this project. So, could you tell us a bit about the schedule? When will you need everything by? Well, considering the time needed for printing, we'd like to get the brochures to the printing stage by the end of September. So, would it be possible for you to get us the first design draft by the middle of August? Well, we'd like to give you three design options for the initial draft and then have you choose the one which best fits your concept. Then, we'll make the final design based on your choice. So, it'll be very helpful if you could give us two more weeks to prepare for this stage. Hmm. Okay. Maybe one month will be enough time to choose one of the designs you've made and then decide on the final design. All right. We'll be counting on you. You're in good hands. Our design team is the best. Thank you so much. 
A man is joining a sports club and getting information on its policies. What type of membership will he choose? Let me start by explaining our club's different membership options, as described in this brochure. Regular members can use the gym and the pool at any time on any day of the week, but we also offer early morning memberships where people can use the facilities only in the early morning, and night memberships for people who only want to come in the evening. What are the hours for early morning members? Early morning members can use the facilities from 6 a.m. to 10 a.m., and night members can use them from 6 p.m. to 11 p.m. I see. So early morning members can stop by and use the facilities on their way to work. Exactly. The early morning type is popular among people with nine to five jobs, and we also offer memberships just for the gym or just for the pool if you only want to use one of those. I want to use both the gym and the pool. I think I'll use the gym in the early morning before going to work on weekdays and then use the pool on the weekend. Do you have a membership that covers something like early mornings for the weekdays but all day on the weekend? We're sorry, but we don't offer a membership like that, sir. Okay. I don't think I can get up that early on the weekend, so I'll choose this membership option. What type of membership will he choose? A man is joining a sports club and getting information on its policies. What type of membership will he choose? Let me start by explaining our club's different membership options, as described in this brochure. Regular members can use the gym and the pool at any time on any day of the week, but we also offer early morning memberships where people can use the facilities only in the early morning, and night memberships for people who only want to come in the evening. What are the hours for early morning members? Early morning members can use the facilities from 6 a.m. to 10 a.m., and night members can use them from 6 p.m. to 11 p.m. I see. So early morning members can stop by and use the facilities on their way to work. Exactly. The early morning type is popular among people with nine to five jobs, and we also offer memberships just for the gym or just for the pool if you only want to use one of those. I want to use both the gym and the pool. I think I'll use the gym in the early morning before going to work on weekdays and then use the pool on the weekend. Do you have a membership that covers something like early mornings for the weekdays but all day on the weekend? We're sorry, but we don't offer a membership like that, sir. Okay. I don't think I can get up that early on the weekend, so I'll choose this membership option. A man is reporting about his company's sales performance at a meeting. Which two charts is he using for his presentation? Please look at the handout. The left chart shows our company's sales over the past three years and the sales forecast for the current year, and the right chart shows the monthly breakdown in sales up to October of this year. Now, Please have a look at the left chart. It shows that sales have been steadily increasing over the past three years. And if we can keep increasing our sales, the total sales for this year will show an increase over last year. Next, please look at the right chart. The right chart shows that the campaigns we ran in April and August were fairly effective. I see, but the sales decreased in May and September following the campaigns. Yes, but this kind of decrease is unavoidable. I expect the annual sales for this year will show an increase over last year if we can keep increasing our sales. Which two charts is he using for his presentation? A man is reporting about his company's sales performance at a meeting. Which two charts is he using for his presentation? Please look at the handout. The left chart shows our company's sales over the past three years and the sales forecast for the current year, and the right chart shows the monthly breakdown in sales up to October of this year. Now, please have a look at the left chart. It shows that sales have been steadily increasing over the past three years, and if we can keep increasing our sales, the total sales for this year will show an increase over last year. Next, please look at the right chart. The right chart shows that the campaigns we ran in April and August were fairly effective. I see, but the sales decreased in May and September following the campaigns. Yes, but this kind of decrease is unavoidable. I expect the annual sales for this year will show an increase over last year if we can keep increasing our sales. Want to speak real English from your first lesson? Sign up for your free lifetime account at EnglishClass101.com. A delivery person is talking to a receptionist.
What will the delivery person do next? Choose the incorrect answer. Hi, I have deliveries for the human resources and accounting departments. Sure, they're both on the fourth floor. All right, I also need to pick something up from the sales department. The sales department has a first and second division. Which one is it? Let's see. It's the second division. The sales second division is on the second floor. There's an intercom at the entrance, so please call the person you're looking for. Okay, is that the right elevator over there? I'm so sorry, but that elevator is currently out of service for a safety inspection. Do you mind using the stairs over there? Not at all. Thank you very much. What will the delivery person do next? Choose the incorrect answer. A delivery person is talking to a receptionist. What will the delivery person do next? Choose the incorrect answer. Hi, I have deliveries for the human resources and accounting departments. Sure, they're both on the fourth floor. All right, I also need to pick something up from the sales department. The sales department has a first and second division. Which one is it? Let's see, it's the second division. The sales second division is on the second floor. There's an intercom at the entrance, so please call the person you're looking for. Okay, is that the right elevator over there? I'm so sorry, but that elevator is currently out of service for a safety inspection. Do you mind using the stairs over there? Not at all. Thank you very much. There's a weather forecast on TV. What will the weather be like in the upcoming week? Here is the weather forecast for the upcoming week. The first half of the week will be mostly sunny with a chance of occasional cloudy skies. In the second half of the week, we will see overcast skies with scattered thunderstorms. As the weather takes a turn for the worse around midweek, the eastern parts of the city are most likely to be affected by these storms. The high temperatures throughout the week will be about the same as last year's average, which was 65 degrees. However, early in the week, the highs will be in the upper 60s, and later in the week, the temperatures will cool to highs in the low 60s. Low temperatures will continue to be in the low 40s, which is slightly colder than normal. The forecast for tomorrow is warm and sunny. Perfect weather for your holiday weekend. What will the weather be like in the upcoming week? There's a weather forecast on TV. What will the weather be like in the upcoming week? Here is the weather forecast for the upcoming week. The first half of the week will be mostly sunny with a chance of occasional cloudy skies. In the second half of the week, we will see overcast skies with scattered thunderstorms. As the weather takes a turn for the worse around midweek, the eastern parts of the city are most likely to be affected by these storms. The high temperatures throughout the week will be about the same as last year's average, which was 65 degrees. However, early in the week, the highs will be in the upper 60s, and later in the week, the temperatures will cool to highs in the low 60s. Low temperatures will continue to be in the low 40s, which is slightly colder than normal. The forecast for tomorrow is warm and sunny. Perfect weather for your holiday weekend. A man and a woman are talking while looking at a poll regarding kids' favorite subjects. Which chart shows the results for 15-year-old kids? Hey, look at this article. It's about the three most popular subjects among 10-year-old and 15-year-old kids. Oh, let me see. Physical education is on the top of the 10-year-old's list. Physical education is still popular even though I have heard that kids these days spend less time playing sports. Yes, and music came in second. When you get older, you become interested in different subjects. The most popular subject among the 15-year-old kids is history. Right. Oh, and politics came in second. Information technology ranked third, but it wasn't even a subject in school when we were that age. What was the third most popular subject for 10-year-old kids? Let's see. Oh, it was art. 
I wonder if they design things in art class using computer software these days. Which chart shows the results for 15-year-old kids? A man and a woman are talking while looking at a poll regarding kids' favorite subjects. Which chart shows the results for 15-year-old kids? Hey, look at this article. It's about the three most popular subjects among 10-year-old and 15-year-old kids. Oh, let me see. Physical education is on the top of the 10-year-old's list. Physical education is still popular even though I have heard that kids these days spend less time playing sports. Yes, and music came in second. When you get older, you become interested in different subjects. The most popular subject among the 15-year-old kids is history. Right. Oh, and politics came in second. Information technology ranked third, but it wasn't even a subject in school when we were that age. What was the third most popular subject for 10-year-old kids? Let's see. Oh, it was art. I wonder if they design things in art class using computer software these days. A man and a woman are talking while looking at a picture. Which one is the woman's brother? I heard you have a twin brother. I didn't know that. I do, but people say we don't look alike. See, my brother is in this picture, but can you tell which one he is? Hmm, I don't see anyone who looks like you. Maybe this one with the cap? Nope, that's not him. He has black hair, just like me. Then is it this tall guy? Nope, he's not that tall. I still can't find him. You really don't look alike. I know. Maybe his glasses are making it more difficult. Glasses? Is he this one, second from the left? Yep, you found him. Do you think we look alike? No, not really. Which one is the woman's brother? A man and a woman are talking while looking at a picture. Which one is the woman's brother? I heard you have a twin brother. I didn't know that. I do, but people say we don't look alike. See, my brother is in this picture, but can you tell which one he is? Hmm, I don't see anyone who looks like you. Maybe this one with the cap? Nope, that's not him. He has black hair, just like me. Then is it this tall guy? Nope, he's not that tall. I still can't find him. You really don't look alike. I know. Maybe his glasses are making it more difficult. Glasses? Is he this one, second from the left? Yep, you found him. Do you think we look alike? No, not really. A male and a female student are talking while looking at their class schedule. What is the male student's schedule on the day of the meeting? We have to have a meeting about our next group presentation. Right. When are you free? I come to school on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Thursdays. I am here on Tuesdays, Wednesdays, and Thursdays, so either Wednesday or Thursday would work. How about Thursday afternoon, then? On Thursdays, I have lectures until 4 p.m. I can make it after economics class, but then I have to be at work at 5 o'clock. So, I will only be available for an hour. Hmm, that sounds a bit too short. How about Wednesday, then? I have modern history at 9, then international law at 3. So, I'm free in between. I have Asian history at noon, then a part-time job in the evening. What about meeting early in the morning and talking before your first class? Hmm, I'm not a morning person. Why don't we meet on Thursday evening and I will reschedule my job for another day? Okay, sounds good. I'll meet you in the cafeteria after class. What is the male student's schedule on the day of the meeting? A male and a female student are talking while looking at their class schedule. What is the male student's schedule on the day of the meeting? We have to have a meeting about our next group presentation. Right. When are you free? I come to school on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Thursdays. 
I am here on Tuesdays, Wednesdays, and Thursdays, so either Wednesday or Thursday would work. How about Thursday afternoon then? On Thursdays, I have lectures until 4 p.m. I can make it after economics class, but then I have to be at work at 5 o'clock. So I will only be available for an hour. Hmm, that sounds a bit too short. How about Wednesday then? I have modern history at 9, then international law at 3, so I'm free in between. I have Asian history at noon, then a part time job in the evening. What about meeting early in the morning and talking before your first class? Hmm, I'm not a morning person. Why don't we meet on Thursday evening and I will reschedule my job for another day? Okay, sounds good. I'll meet you in the cafeteria after class. Want to speak real English from your first lesson? Sign up for your free lifetime account at EnglishClass101.com. Hey everyone! Welcome to your monthly review, the monthly show on language learning, where you discover new learning strategies, motivational tips, new study tools, resources, and where we show off learners like you speaking the language. That is, if you're brave enough to participate and become language learning famous. All the materials mentioned in this video are available for you right now on our website. Click the link in the description to sign up for your free lifetime account and start speaking in minutes. Okay, today's topic is how to set achievable language goals and resolutions, your New Year's resolution solution. So, for those of you that have set a language goal for 2019, what is it? Leave a comment and tell me. And, For those of you that laugh at New Year's resolutions because they just don't work, this is for you. Stick around. Today, you're going to learn number one, the top three reasons why language goals fail, and number two, what you can do to succeed with your resolution. In other words, how to set successful language goals. Let's jump into today's topic how to set achievable language goals and resolutions. And speaking of New Year's resolutions, it's almost like a joke nowadays, isn't it? You set a resolution, you try to do it in January. By February, there's no progress, and doing it isn't fun anymore. You quit and put it off until many years later when you start regretting all the things you've never done. So, what's the problem with setting resolutions, and why do we keep failing? Let's jump into part one the top three reasons why language goals fail. First of all, regardless of what most people say, setting resolutions or goals is a good thing. You have to know where you're going and what you want to achieve, right? Otherwise, you'd spend days, months, years watching YouTube and have nothing to show for all the time you put in. But the problem with most resolutions is it's usually something like I want to master Chinese, I want to lose weight, I want to be fluent in Japanese. People set very big, vague goals. And that's the first reason why resolutions fail. Resolutions fail because they are non specific and unmeasurable. What do I mean by that? Take a goal like, I want to be fluent in English, Korean, or Japanese this year. The problem is, that's a very vague goal, right? What do you mean by fluent? And how can you measure how much progress you need to be fluent in the language? You can't. It doesn't tell you anything about how much Japanese you should learn today. Tomorrow, or how many minutes of Japanese to speak by month one, by month two, what resources to use, and when to stop and take a rest. So, again, the first reason is resolutions fail because they are non specific and unmeasurable. The second reason is New Year's resolutions fail because they're unrealistic. And you might say, but isn't it good to aim for the stars and set huge goals? Sure, it's not bad to want to go far. But if you say, I want to be fluent by September, and you just started learning a language today, it's not impossible, but are you ready to commit yourself to nothing but language learning, six to eight hours a day, nonstop? If not, you need to be a little more realistic about your goals. The third reason is resolutions fail because there's no action plan. The problem is, you'll still fail even with a specific and realistic goal if you don't know when and how you're going to do it. For example, when will you study? How long will you study for every day? And how will you study? So, resolutions fail for three reasons. One, they're non specific and unmeasurable. Two, they're unrealistic. And three, there's no action plan. Now, how do you set New Year's resolutions and actually succeed? 
Your goals should be one, specific and measurable, two, realistic, and three, have an action plan. So the complete opposite of the mistakes most learners usually make. And there are two more rules. Four, you need to set a deadline. And five, break down your yearly goal into smaller monthly goals. So how would this work? Let's say my New Year's resolution is to have a 30-minute conversation in Japanese by December 31st, and not, I want to learn Japanese one day, hopefully. Already, you can see that it's one, specific and measurable. You can measure 30 minutes, right? Two, it's realistic. I'm aiming for 30 minutes, not fluency. There's a clear deadline, December 31st. Before we get into the action plan, there's another important part. I break my resolution down into smaller monthly goals. So let's say my goal is to speak two minutes of Japanese conversation by January 31st, 2019. Again, it's small and measurable, just two minutes. I can time myself and see how far along I am. There's a clear deadline. It's realistic. I'm not looking to master the whole language. Just reach the two minute conversation mark. Now, what about your action plan? For that, you just need to answer these questions. When will you study? How long will you study every day? Where do you plan to study? How will you study? What's your study schedule? This is the most important part because this tells you when and how to study. So, when will you study? I'll study at 9 p.m. on weekdays, so five days a week. How long will you study every day? I'll study for 15 minutes. Where do you plan to study? I'll study at home, in the living room, on my computer. How will you study? I'll listen to one or two lessons a day to fill up the 15 minutes. What's your study schedule? Monday through Friday for 15 minutes a day. This makes a lot more sense now, doesn't it? Instead of saying, hopefully I'll learn that language someday and never taking action on your goals, by setting these small measurable goals, you know what you need to do. Okay, let's recap. To set successful language goals, your goals should be one, specific and measurable, two, realistic, three, have an action plan, four, a deadline, and five, be broken down into small monthly goals. So instead of saying, I wanna be fluent in 2019, try, I want to speak 30 minutes of conversation by December 31st, 2019, and then go even smaller and set a small monthly goal. So everyone, it's your turn. Leave a comment and tell me, what's your small, measurable monthly goal? And what's the deadline? Here are some examples you can steal for yourself. Learn 100 words in one month. Speak one minute of your target language in a month. Or do 20 audio lessons in one month. Deadline, January 31st. Now, speaking of lessons, here are this month's new lessons and resources. First, the Ultimate Listening Video Master Course. Honest question, how sharp are your listening skills? With this video master course, they'll be as sharp as a razor. Download it right now. Next, the Talk About Your Body PDF Cheat Sheet. With this cheat sheet, you'll learn words for parts of your body in the target language. Then, there's the most common texting slang word list. If you want to text in the language you're learning, you'll love this. You'll learn how to say LOL and other words in your target language. And finally, the How to Express Quantity vocab list where you learn how to say if there's a lot, a few, or a little bit of something. To get these free lessons and resources, just click the link in the description below. All right, everyone. In the last monthly review, we asked you to submit a video or audio file of yourself speaking the language, introducing yourself in the language. So thank you to all of you that sent in submissions. You've all received a Premium Plus subscription as a reward. Now let's take a look at some of the videos. Okay, I'm gonna play the submissions that we received this month. I'm very excited. Begin, play. Hi Alicia, my name's Amir and I'm from Jammu and Kashmir, India. Hi Amir. Uh, I think you might know that the Jammu and Kashmir is the place called the paradise on earth. And I wish you would visit here someday and I will I be happy to host you. And uh, why I'm learning English is just because I want to make new friends. I want to explore the world. Uh, mm -hmm. Being a global citizen, I want to know about the different cultures, know about the different people, make a lot of friends, and how 
better career opportunities mm. and uh, i'm loving this english101.com cool and this is a very good initiative for learners like us who can't afford to mm. just go like for the coaching classes or something like that i've mm. been learning from home from a lot of time and thank you thank you for everything i thank everyone there Yay. thanks a lot Awesome. That was a really nice message about being a global citizen and like the importance of having like something online where anybody can learn. So that was really cool. Thank you so much for that message. That was great. All right. I'm going to go to the next one. This one. Le. Hello there. Hi. How you doing? Hi. I'm Andy. Hi, I'm Andy. from Indonesia. Oh. Learning English is one of the things that I've been doing since January 2015. Whoa. Thank God I can make this learning English as a routine. You know what? I believe having proficiency in English will provide me a lot of opportunities. Mm. As a matter of fact, I'd really love to get a job in one of native English speaker countries. Oh, cool. And also, well, this is kind of embarrassing, uh -oh. but somehow I need to pay it out. I want to be a professional YouTuber someday. Really? And I'm willing to use English as a main language on my YouTube Whoa, videos. Oh, be an English-speaking right. YouTuber. That's all I can tell right now. Have a nice day. Cool. Goodbye. Bye. Thank you. That was an interesting message. He sounds like a really super confident person, and he wants to be like an English-speaking YouTuber. Like, I think he has the confidence part, for sure, for sure. That's awesome. Thank you. Thanks for sharing your goal, too. Nice. All right. On to the next one. Hi, Hi, Alicia. Hi. My name is Ariel, and Ariel. I'm from China. Oh. Um, I'm really grateful that I found you at EnglishClass101.com on YouTube about one year ago. Uh -huh. You've helped me so much on my English, especially on vocabulary and grammar. Yay! Um, I've been learning English for a really long time for the purpose of passing different tests in order to enter a good university. Uh -huh. Um. But I never tried to improve my uh, speaking skills mm -hmm. uh, before um, because the test doesn't have a requirement of uh, speaking. Uh, right. But after I entered the university, I, um, there are so many foreign students around me mm -hmm. and I want to communicate with them. Right. Uh, so um, I worked really hard on my uh spoken English. Nice. And one day I want to study abroad. Uh, so um, I have to try my best to improve my English in the future. Cool. Cool. That was awesome. Yeah. So never really practicing speaking because tests don't often require like any kind of speaking exam. But yeah, having the experience of studying with like university students from other countries motivated her. So that's really cool. Thanks for that message and good luck continuing to improve your speaking skills. That's cool. Okay, let's go to the next one. Play. Hello, Alicia. How Hi. are you? My name is Arjun Singh and uh, I am from India. But uh, now I live in UA and uh -huh. I have been living in UA since 2016. Mm -hmm. And uh, I speak English because I am fond of speaking English and I have been speaking English since many years. Uh -huh. And uh, nowadays, I am watching your videos and learning many things from your videos. Yay. So, firstly, thanks to you. And uh, secondly, your teaching method is really and really awesome. And uh, my cool. so many uh, doubts have been cleared through your videos. Oh, like, I'm so happy uh, what to is, hear that. What are the differences among all, whole, and uh, what are the differences between... Uh, stomach tummy and uh, uh, belly so yeah, that is just because of you so please yeah. <laughs> keep making yeah. the videos that is just because of you and please providing us good english thank you very much cool thank you so much for this message i'm so happy that there were like specific points that like were cleared up through the videos that is awesome so thank you so much for that that was really really cool okay onward i think this is a video hello video person It's waiting. Hi, Alicia. Hi. Hello, my dear friends. Uh, my name is Chirik Thomas, and I'm from India. Uh, I would really like to thank you and English Power 101 for being such a great guy. 
who helped me a lot cool. last year in a good score in IMTS. Nice. Uh, uh, okay, today I'm here to speak about myself. Um, as I mentioned earlier, my name is Julian Thomas. Mm -hmm. uh, currently, I'm working as an entry level employee okay. at Purnam Information Private Limited, and I am working as a customer relation executive. Mm -hmm. uh, my hobbies are uh, reading books, playing cricket, uh, and I would also love to sing mm -hmm. a pop song, pop mini pop songs. Uh, um, my family can solve uh, my parents and sibling. Cool. Cool. Nice. Yeah, that's cool. We don't get a lot of video uh, submissions, but this one was really cool. And like he spoke so clearly and like he had like such a cheerful way of communicating. So that's cool. Thank you very much for sending this. Awesome. All right. I'll go back to the next one. Play. Hello, everybody. Hi. I am Lex Rigom. Lex. Uh, excuse my English. Don't I worry. only start learning it recently. Okay. Uh, I am absolutely beginner student of English language. Mm -hmm. um, I'm from Colombia. My native language is Spanish. Okay. Spanish speaker um, from Colombia, super beginner. I want cool. to learn English uh, because it's important by, uh, for my career mm. and interaction with uh, Anglo-Saxon culture. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Bye bye. Thank you. That's cool. Yeah. So that's awesome. He said, you know, I'm a like absolute beginner and yet he took the time to prepare this message. So thanks so much and good luck with your continued studies. That's awesome. Okay. I'll go to the last one for this month. May. Okay. Hi, Alicia. Hi. How's it going? Good. I'm Marcelo. I'm from Brazil. I've learned English for two years and I've learned a lot with your site, English class. One Ooh, thank you. I need to improve my speaking skills. Mm. I'm listening a lot and work hard to get fluent in English. Mm. Yeah, so another person talking about like working hard to improve speaking skills. I think that's something lots of people are probably working on. So I hope that you all continue and I hope that everybody can continue working towards their goals. Thank you all so much for sending these in this like this month, actually. That's really, really cool. So it's so cool to actually see and hear from you guys. That's awesome. So thanks so much this month, and I hope to see some more from you guys next month. Cool. So which entry did you like the best? Leave a comment below. Or do you think you can do better? Here's the challenge for you. Yes, everyone watching this. Record a 30 second to one minute video or audio clip. Introduce yourself in the language. Share your name, where you're from, and why you're studying this language and you'll win a three-month Premium Plus subscription. To submit, click on the link in the description. Sign up for your free lifetime account. Then fill out the form, attach the audio or video file, and press submit. We may feature you in next month's episode. So a lot of learners will see you and your progress and will hopefully get inspired to improve and master the language. To submit a recording, click the link in the description and follow the instructions on the page. So thank you for watching this episode of Monthly Review. A president and his assistant are talking on the phone. Which document is the assistant going to deliver to the sales department? Hey, could you do me a favor? There's a document on my desk and I need you to deliver it to the sales department. Sure. Which one is it? I think it's in a blue envelope. A blue envelope. Well, there are two blue envelopes on your desk. Ah, right there should be a red stamp in the upper right corner of the envelope. The other one should have a green stamp, but it's the orientation guide we hand out to new employees. The one with the red stamp. Okay, got it. Great. Please deliver it to the sales department by 1 o'clock. And make sure you give it to the manager directly. You know him, right? Yes, we've met several times. Good. And while you're at it, could you deliver the other envelope to HR? Sure thing. 
Which document is the assistant going to deliver to the sales department? A president and his assistant are talking on the phone. Which document is the assistant going to deliver to the sales department? Hey, could you do me a favor? There's a document on my desk and I need you to deliver it to the sales department. Sure. Which one is it? I think it's in a blue envelope. A blue envelope. Well, there are two blue envelopes on your desk. Ah, right there should be a red stamp in the upper right corner of the envelope. The other one should have a green stamp, but it's the orientation guide we hand out to new employees. The one with the red stamp. Okay, got it. Great. Please deliver it to the sales department by one o'clock. And make sure you give it to the manager directly. You know him, right? Yes, we've met several times. Good. And while you're at it, could you deliver the other envelope to HR? Sure thing. A woman is trying on a dress and talking to a shop clerk. Which dress is she going to buy? It looks very nice on you, and it fits perfectly. Yeah, it fits, but I usually wear plain colors. I'm not used to this kind of a pattern. Well, I think you look great. Yeah? Still, it would take some courage for me to actually wear this. What about this dress then? The pattern is much more reserved, so it won't feel as flashy. You're right. Let me try that one on. Go right ahead. What do you think, ma'am? This one suits me much more than the last. Do you have a long sleeved version with this design? Yes, we do. Thanks. I'll buy that. Which dress is she going to buy? A woman is trying on a dress and talking to a shop clerk. Which dress is she going to buy? It looks very nice on you, and it fits perfectly. Yeah, it fits, but I usually wear plain colors. I'm not used to this kind of a pattern. Well, I think you look great. Yeah? Still, it would take some courage for me to actually wear this. What about this dress then? The pattern is much more reserved, so it won't feel as flashy. You're right. Let me try that one on. Go right ahead. What do you think, ma'am? This one suits me much more than the last. Do you have a long sleeved version with this design? Yes, we do. Thanks. I'll buy that. A male and female student are looking at job advertisements. Which job is the female student going to apply for? Hey, what do you think about this job? The hourly pay is pretty high. Sure, the pay looks great, but could you really do a newspaper delivery route? Of course. I'm good at riding bikes, but I'm worried about waking up early. What about this one? The pay isn't as high, but you can work two or three days a week and start working from the evening. Oh, this one? A supermarket cashier, huh? Well, it would be good to work after school. This one for a coffee shop might be good too. Oh, yeah, I love that place, and it's on my way to school. Not bad, huh? Hmm, which one should I apply to? Which two is it between? The coffee shop and the newspaper delivery route? Yeah, the pay for the newspaper route is really nice. Okay, my mind's made up. I guess I'll just have to get up early. Which job is the female student going to apply for? A male and female student are looking at job advertisements. Which job is the female student going to apply for? Hey, what do you think about this job? The hourly pay is pretty high. Sure, the pay looks great, but could you really do a newspaper delivery route? Of course. I'm good at riding bikes, but I'm worried about waking up early. What about this one? The pay isn't as high, but you can work two or three days a week and start working from the evening. Oh, this one? A supermarket cashier, huh? Well, it would be good to work after school. This one for a coffee shop might be good too. Oh, yeah, I love that place, and it's on my way to school. Not bad, huh? Hmm, which one should I apply to? Which two is it between? 
the coffee shop and the newspaper delivery route? Yeah, the pay for the newspaper route is really nice. Okay, my mind's made up. I guess I'll just have to get up early. A woman is talking to her hairstylist. How would she like to change her hair? Hi, may I help you? Hi, I've got a three o'clock reservation for Richie. Ah, yes. Welcome, Miss Richie. Please come this way. What can I do for you today? I'd like to change my hairstyle a little bit. Okay. What length would you like? About shoulder length. All right. And what about your bangs? Keep the bangs. Straight down or parted on the side? To the side a bit. Which side? Maybe a little left from the middle? Got it. We'll start with the shampoo, so please come this way. How would she like to change her hair? A woman is talking to her hairstylist. How would she like to change her hair? Hi, may I help you? Hi, I've got a three o'clock reservation for Richie. Ah, yes. Welcome, Miss Richie. Please come this way. What can I do for you today? I'd like to change my hairstyle a little bit. Okay. What length would you like? About shoulder length. All right. And what about your bangs? Keep the bangs. Straight down or parted on the side? To the side a bit. Which side? Maybe a little left from the middle. Got it. We'll start with the shampoo. So please come this way. A man is making a reservation at a hotel. Which room is he going to stay in? Seaside Hotel. How may I help you? Hi. I'd like to stay for one night on September twenty second. Certainly, one night from September twenty second. How many people? Two. Would you like a smoking or a non-smoking room, sir? Non-smoking. The only non-smoking room available on that day is a mountain view room. Is that okay? Well, I was hoping for an ocean view room. I'm sorry, but the only ocean view room available on that day is a smoking room. I see. Is there a non-smoking ocean view room available on September twenty-third? Yes, there is. Okay, we'll stay on September twenty-third. Which room is he going to stay in? A man is making a reservation at a hotel. Which room is he going to stay in? Seaside Hotel. How may I help you? Hi, I'd like to stay for one night on September twenty-second. Certainly, one night from September twenty-second. How many people? Two. Would you like a smoking or a non-smoking room, sir? Non-smoking. The only non-smoking room available on that day is a mountain view room. Is that okay? Well, I was hoping for an ocean view room. I'm sorry, but the only ocean view room available on that day is a smoking room. I see. Is there a non-smoking ocean view room available on September twenty-third? Yes, there is. Okay, we'll stay on September twenty-third. A husband and a wife are looking at some floor plans. Which room are they going to see? How about this one? It's got a nice large living room. Hmm. I like a big living room, but I want the parking space. Let's see. How about this one? Yeah, that's nice. Should we go see this one? Wait a second. Isn't the closet a bit too small? Good point. Hmm. There doesn't seem to be one that's perfect. Wait. How about this one? It's got everything we need, doesn't it? And the closet is pretty large too. Let's go see this one. Okay. Which room are they going to see? A husband and a wife are looking at some floor plans. Which room are they going to see? How about this one? It's got a nice large living room. Hmm. I like a big living room, but I want the parking space. Let's see. How about this one? Yeah, that's nice. Should we go see this one? Wait a second. Isn't the closet a bit too small? 
Good point. Hmm. There doesn't seem to be one that's perfect. Wait, how about this one? It's got everything we need, doesn't it? And the closet is pretty large, too. Let's go see this one. Okay. A man is choosing his seat for a flight. Where is his seat? Do you have any seats available for the flight tomorrow night? Would you like to sit in regular economy or premium economy? Regular economy is fine. Hmm. Thank you for waiting. We do have a few seats. Great. I'd like an aisle seat, please. I'm afraid there are no aisle seats left. Ah,、uh, okay. Could you just not put me in the middle? Would a window seat be okay? Sure. Thank you. Where is his seat? A man is choosing his seat for a flight. Where is his seat? Do you have any seats available for the flight tomorrow night? Would you like to sit in regular economy or premium economy? Regular economy is fine. Hmm. Thank you for waiting. We do have a few seats. Great. I'd like an aisle seat, please. I'm afraid there are no aisle seats left. Ah,、uh, okay. Could you just not put me in the middle? Would a window seat be okay? Sure. Thank you. A man and a woman are talking. Which clock are they looking at, and what time is it? Hey, what time is it? Sorry, no watch today, and I forgot my phone at home. Okay, I'm a bit worried that we won't make the train. Look, there's a clock at the station entrance. Nice, but it looks like the train will be here in five minutes. That's the ten o'clock train, right? Right. We'd better hurry up. Which clock are they looking at, and what time is it? A man and a woman are talking. Which clock are they looking at, and what time is it? Hey, what time is it? Sorry, no watch today, and I forgot my phone at home. Okay, I'm a bit worried that we won't make the train. Look, there's a clock at the station entrance. Nice, but it looks like the train will be here in five minutes. That's the ten o'clock train, right? Right. We'd better hurry up. A man is renting some DVDs. How many DVDs is he going to rent? Hello. How may I help you? I'd like to rent these DVDs, please. Three altogether. You know, you get a discount if you rent five. Sounds nice, but I won't have time to watch that many movies, so I'll just take these three. We're offering a special discount right now, and you can get them for an extra week. Really? Awesome! I'll get two more. How many DVDs is he going to rent? A man is renting some DVDs. How many DVDs is he going to rent? Hello. How may I help you? I'd like to rent these DVDs, please. Three altogether. You know, you get a discount if you rent five. Sounds nice, but I won't have time to watch that many movies, so I'll just take these three. We're offering a special discount right now, and you can get them for an extra week. Really? Awesome! I'll get two more. A woman will be visiting her friend's apartment. What is her friend's apartment number? Can't wait for your party on Sunday. Me too. It starts at twelve o'clock.
Right. Your apartment is 1018, isn't it? Yes, that's right. My apartment is in a two building complex with an east and west tower. My room is 1018 in the east building. Okay. Please call me if you have any questions. Will do. Thank you. What is her friend's apartment number? A woman will be visiting her friend's apartment. What is her friend's apartment number? Can't wait for your party on Sunday. Me too. It starts at 12 o'clock. Right. Your apartment is 1018, isn't it? Yes, that's right. My apartment is in a two building complex with an east and west tower. My room is 1018 in the east building. Okay. Please call me if you have any questions. Will do. Thank you. A woman will be visiting her friend's apartment. What is her friend's apartment number? Can't wait for your party on Sunday. Me too. It starts at 12 o'clock. Right. Your apartment is 1018, isn't it? Yes, that's right. My apartment is in a two building complex with an east and west tower. My room is 1018 in the east building. Okay. Please call me if you have any questions. Will do. Thank you. What is her friend's apartment number? A woman will be visiting her friend's apartment. What is her friend's apartment number? Can't wait for your party on Sunday. Me too. It starts at 12 o'clock. Right. Your apartment is 1018, isn't it? Yes, that's right. My apartment is in a two building complex with an east and west tower. My room is 1018 in the east building. Okay. Please call me if you have any questions. Will do. Thank you. A woman will be visiting her friend's apartment. What is her friend's apartment number? Can't wait for your party on Sunday. Me too. It starts at 12 o'clock. Right. Your apartment is 1018, isn't it? Yes, that's right. My apartment is in a two building complex with an east and west tower. My room is 1018 in the east building. Okay. Please call me if you have any questions. Will do. Thank you. What is her friend's apartment number? A woman will be visiting her friend's apartment. What is her friend's apartment number? Can't wait for your party on Sunday. Me too. It starts at 12 o'clock. Right. Your apartment is 1018, isn't it? Yes, that's right. My apartment is in a two building complex with an east and west tower. My room is 1018 in the east building. Okay. Please call me if you have any questions. Will do. Thank you. Want to speak real English from your first lesson? Sign up for your free lifetime account at EnglishClass101.com. A man is talking with a woman about his upcoming trip. When is he coming back to Salt Lake City? You're going on a trip next week, right? Yes, I'm going to Hong Kong on Tuesday and will stay there for two nights. Then you're going to Taipei? 
Yes, I'm going to Taipei on Thursday and will stay there overnight. And then I'll come back home. So, you'll be at the meeting on Saturday, right? Yes, that's right. When is he coming back to Salt Lake City? A man is talking with a woman about his upcoming trip. When is he coming back to Salt Lake City? You're going on a trip next week, right? Yes, I'm going to Hong Kong on Tuesday and will stay there for two nights. Then you're going to Taipei? Yes, I'm going to Taipei on Thursday and will stay there overnight. And then I'll come back home. So... You'll be at the meeting on Saturday, right? Yes, that's right. A woman is talking to a salesperson at the mall. Which computer is she going to buy? Excuse me, I'm looking for a really light ultrabook. Okay, how about this one? It's really flat and light. It looks nice. Can you watch DVDs on this computer? I'm afraid not. You can watch DVDs on that one, but it's a little bit larger and heavier. Hmm, yeah. This is too heavy. I'll buy the first one. Thank you so much. You can choose from white, black, or silver. I want the black one. Which computer is she going to buy? A woman is talking to a salesperson at the mall. Which computer is she going to buy? Excuse me, I'm looking for a really light ultrabook. Okay, how about this one? It's really flat and light. It looks nice. Can you watch DVDs on this computer? I'm afraid not. You can watch DVDs on that one, but... It's a little bit larger and heavier. Hmm, yeah. This is too heavy. I'll buy the first one. Thank you so much. You can choose from white, black, or silver. I want the black one. A woman is talking with her boss. What will they drink in the meeting? We'll be having a meeting with Michael from our New York office this afternoon. Do you know if there are any drinks left? We have some coffee. Hmm, Michael doesn't drink coffee. Do we have any bottled water? Yes, I think there's still some left. Excellent. Very good. Do you want anything? I'll have the same thing too. What will they drink in the meeting? A woman is talking with her boss. What will they drink in the meeting? We'll be having a meeting with Michael from our New York office this afternoon. Do you know if there are any drinks left? We have some coffee. Hmm, Michael doesn't drink coffee. Do we have any bottled water? Yes, I think there's still some left. Excellent. Very good. Do you want anything? I'll have the same thing, too. A woman is looking for a bus stop. She asks a man where one is. Where is the bus stop? Excuse me, do you know if there's a bus stop near here? Yes, one is very close. First, go straight and turn at the second traffic light. Then, turn left at the corner of the bookstore, you will see a bank. The bus stop is in front of the bank. Got it. Thank you so much. Where is the bus stop? A woman is looking for a bus stop. She asks a man where one is. Where is the bus stop? Excuse me, do you know if there's a bus stop near here?
Yes, one is very close. First, go straight and turn at the second traffic light. Then, turn left at the corner of the bookstore, you will see a bank. The bus stop is in front of the bank. Got it. Thank you so much. You're listening to the weather forecast. What's the forecast? We'll have sunny weather all through the morning. In the afternoon, though, it's going to get cloudy, and we'll have rain in the night. The rain will continue through the night until early tomorrow morning, when the sun will start coming out again. What's the forecast? You're listening to the weather forecast. What's the forecast? We'll have sunny weather all through the morning. In the afternoon, though, it's going to get cloudy, and we'll have rain in the night. The rain will continue through the night until early tomorrow morning, when the sun will start coming out again. A man is talking with his wife on the phone. What's he going to buy? Hey. Heading home now. Okay. Could you buy something on the way home? Sure. What do you want me to get? We need some milk and bread for tomorrow's breakfast. Milk and bread. Got it. How many cartons of milk? One should be fine. Okay. Anything else? One second. Let me check if we have butter. Okay. We've got some. All right. Do we have any beer left? Yes. We still have a bottle here. Okay, so we don't need to buy any right now. Right, I think we're good. Thank you. What's he going to buy? A man is talking with his wife on the phone. What's he going to buy? Hey, heading home now. Okay, could you buy something on the way home? Sure. What do you want me to get? We need some milk and bread for tomorrow's breakfast. Milk and bread. Got it. How many cartons of milk? One should be fine. Okay. Anything else? One second. Let me check if we have butter. Okay. We've got some. All right. Do we have any beer left? Yes. We still have a bottle here. Okay. So. We don't need to buy any right now. Right. I think we're good. Thank you. A man and a woman are talking about printers in the office. Where is the old printer? Where should we put the new printer? Hmm. I think we should put it where the old printer is now. But the old one still works. We're going to keep using it. Okay, so we can't put the new one there. It's too bad. It would be nice to have the new one in the bookshelf next to the door, but there's only room for one printer there. Okay, then. I think we should put it on the other side of the room. Right. How about next to the window? That sounds good. Where is the old printer? A man and a woman are talking about printers in the office. Where is the old printer? Where should we put the new printer? Hmm, I think we should put it where the old printer is now. But the old one still works. We're going to keep using it. Okay, so we can't put the new one there. It's too bad. It would be nice to have the new one in the bookshelf next to the door, but there's only room for one printer there. Okay, then. I think we should put it on the other side of the room. Right. How about next to the window? That sounds good. A man is looking for a birthday present for his wife at a jewelry shop. Which necklace is he going to buy? May I help you? I'm looking for a birthday present for my wife. What do you recommend? Well, what about this necklace? Hmm. It looks a little long. What about these over here? We have one with a flower pendant and another one with a heart. I'm looking for something a bit more sophisticated. How much is this pearl necklace over here? It's $5,000. Hmm, 
That's too expensive. Okay, I'll take the first one. Sure thing. Here you are. Which necklace is he going to buy? A man is looking for a birthday present for his wife at a jewelry shop. Which necklace is he going to buy? May I help you? I'm looking for a birthday present for my wife. What do you recommend? Well, what about this necklace? Hmm, it looks a little long. What about these over here? We have one with a flower pendant and another one with a heart. I'm looking for something a bit more sophisticated. How much is this pearl necklace over here? It's $5,000. Hmm, that's too expensive. Okay. I'll take the first one. Sure thing. Here you are. Want to speak real English from your first lesson? Sign up for your free lifetime account at EnglishClass101.com. A man and a woman are talking. What did the woman eat this morning? Oh, I'm hungry. Did you eat anything for breakfast? Yes, I did. But only a little. What did you eat? I had yogurt and coffee. That's not enough. You'll need some bread and fruit, too. What did the woman eat this morning? A man and a woman are talking. What did the woman eat this morning? Oh, I'm hungry. Did you eat anything for breakfast? Yes, I did, but only a little. What did you eat? I had yogurt and coffee. That's not enough. You'll need some bread and fruit, too. A man and a woman are talking about summer vacation. What is the woman going to do on her summer vacation? Have you already planned for the summer vacation? Not yet. I'm thinking about going to the sea or the mountains. I'm going to the beach with some friends. We're going surfing. Sounds nice. Why don't you come with us? Wow, sure. Thanks. What is the woman going to do on her summer vacation? A man and a woman are talking about summer vacation. What is the woman going to do on her summer vacation? Have you already planned for the summer vacation? Not yet. I'm thinking about going to the sea or the mountains. I'm going to the beach with some friends. We're going surfing. Sounds nice. Why don't you come with us? Wow, sure. Thanks. A woman is waiting for a man. Where is the woman now? Hey, really sorry, but it looks like I'll be 30 minutes late. Okay, I'll wait for you at the cafe. Cafe? Where is it? It's next to the bookstore. There's a bakery across from the cafe. Okay. Where is the woman now? A woman is waiting for a man. Where is the woman now? Hey, really sorry, but it looks like I'll be 30 minutes late. Okay, I'll wait for you at the cafe. Cafe? Where is it? It's next to the bookstore. There's a bakery across from the cafe. Okay. A woman is having lunch in a restaurant. What is she going to order? Would you like to have coffee or dessert after the meal? What desserts do you have? We have pudding and apple pie. Hmm, actually, I'll just have coffee. Do you want cream or sugar? Cream, please. What is she going to order?
A woman is having lunch in a restaurant. What is she going to order? Would you like to have coffee or dessert after the meal? What desserts do you have? We have pudding and apple pie. Hmm. Actually, I'll just have coffee. Do you want cream or sugar? Cream, please. A teacher and a student are talking. When will the student go to the teacher's office? I didn't really understand today's class. I see. What was confusing? Several things. Do you have time now? Actually, I'm a little busy. Could you come to my office in the afternoon? I'll be there from 1 p.m. to 4 p.m. Okay, I'll be there at 2 p.m. When will the student go to the teacher's office? A teacher and a student are talking. When will the student go to the teacher's office? I didn't really understand today's class. I see. What was confusing? Several things. Do you have time now? Actually, I'm a little busy. Could you come to my office in the afternoon? I'll be there from 1 p.m. to 4 p.m. Okay, I'll be there at 2 p.m. A man and a woman are talking. What are they going to do first? What do you want to do today? I want to go see a movie. Okay, I want to watch the baseball game on TV. Also, I want to go shopping. The baseball game starts at 1 o'clock. Okay, so let's see the movie first, and then you can watch the baseball game. All right, then we'll go shopping in the evening. What are they going to do first? A man and a woman are talking. What are they going to do first? What do you want to do today? I want to go see a movie. Okay, I want to watch the baseball game on TV. Also, I want to go shopping. The baseball game starts at 1 o'clock. Okay, so let's see the movie first, and then you can watch the baseball game. All right, then we'll go shopping in the evening. A teacher is baking a cake. What did the teacher put in it? Today we're baking a cake. First, mix butter and sugar. Then add two eggs and mix them well. Add flour and mix it a little bit. Put it in the oven and bake it for 50 minutes. That's it. What did the teacher put in it? A teacher is baking a cake. What did the teacher put in it? Today we're baking a cake. First, mix butter and sugar. Then add two eggs and mix them well. Add flour and mix it a little bit. Put it in the oven and bake it for 50 minutes. That's it. A man is at a hamburger place. Which meal is he going to order? Excuse me, could I have the value meal, please? Sure thing. Which do you want, french fries or salad? French fries. Okay. What will you have to drink? Coke, please. Which meal is he going to order? A man is at a hamburger place. Which meal is he going to order? Excuse me, could I have the value meal, please? Sure thing. Which do you want, french fries or salad? French fries. Okay. What will you have to drink? Coke, please. A man is talking with a salesperson at the mall. Which shirt is he going to buy? Hmm. Which shirt do you think is better, the white one or the blue one? Well, I think the blue one is better. It goes well with this gray jacket. You think so? But it doesn't go so well with this red tie, does it? Well, that's true. 
Okay, then I'll take the white one, not the blue one. Which shirt is he going to buy? A man is talking with a salesperson at the mall. Which shirt is he going to buy? Hmm, which shirt do you think is better, the white one or the blue one? Well, I think the blue one is better. It goes well with this gray jacket. You think so? But it doesn't go so well with this red tie, does it? Well, that's true. Okay, then I'll take the white one, not the blue one. A man and a woman are talking. When are they going to see the movie? Why don't we go see a movie on Saturday? Yes, I'd love to, but I have to work a shift in the morning. What time will you finish? I'll finish at 2 o'clock. Then let's meet up at the cafe at 3 o'clock and see a movie at 4 o'clock. Okay. When are they going to see the movie? A man and a woman are talking. When are they going to see the movie? Why don't we go see a movie on Saturday? Yes, I'd love to, but I have to work a shift in the morning. What time will you finish? I'll finish at 2 o'clock. Then let's meet up at the cafe at 3 o'clock and see a movie at 4 o'clock. Okay. A woman and a man are looking at a photograph. Which photo are they looking at? This is a photo of the soccer team your son is on, isn't it? Which one is your son? This one. Oh, he's the tallest one. Yep, he's even taller than the coach. Which photo are they looking at? A woman and a man are looking at a photograph. Which photo are they looking at? This is a photo of the soccer team your son is on, isn't it? Which one is your son? This one. Oh, he's the tallest one. Yep, he's even taller than the coach. A boy is reading from his journal. What was the first thing the boy did today? The weather was great today. I went swimming this afternoon at the pool. And I went to a movie in the evening. I also studied all morning. Today wasn't bad. What was the first thing the boy did today? A boy is reading from his journal. What was the first thing the boy did today? The weather was great today. I went swimming this afternoon at the pool. And I went to a movie in the evening. I also studied all morning. Today wasn't bad. A man is calling the doctor's office. What time does he need to be at the doctor's office by? Hello, how can I help you? What time do you close today? We close at 6 o'clock, but please come in before 5.30. Okay, thank you. What time does he need to be at the doctor's office by? A man is calling the doctor's office. What time does he need to be at the doctor's office by? Hello, how can I help you? What time do you close today? We close at 6 o'clock, but please come in before 5.30. Okay, thank you. A man and a woman are looking over a menu at a restaurant. What's the man going to order? What are you going to order? The pizza looks delicious. I think I'll go with that. I had pizza yesterday, so... Okay, then. What about the hamburger? Sounds good. I'll go with that. What's the man going to order? A man and a woman are looking over a menu at a restaurant. What's the man going to order? What are you going to order? The pizza looks delicious. 
I think I'll go with that. I had pizza yesterday, so. Okay then. What about the hamburger? Sounds good. I'll go with that. A woman is asking a store clerk something at a bookstore. Which book does the woman want to see? Excuse me, I'd like to take a look at a book on that shelf. Which book would you like? The one about cars. One moment, please. This one? Yep, that's right. Here you go. Which book does the woman want to see? A woman is asking a store clerk something at a bookstore. Which book does the woman want to see? Excuse me, I'd like to take a look at a book on that shelf. Which book would you like? The one about cars. One moment, please. This one? Yep, that's right. Here you go. Want to speak real English from your first lesson? Sign up for your free lifetime account at EnglishClass101.com. A man is choosing an insurance plan. Which plan is he going to sign up for? What kind of trip will you be taking? I'm going scuba diving. Since I'll be bringing all my own equipment, I'm a bit worried about getting it stolen. Very smart of you. Insurance against theft is included in all of our plans. Since scuba diving equipment is an unusual type of baggage, only Plan A can cover it, though. Alternatively, you can get insurance specifically for scuba diving equipment and add it to other plans. Plan A is the most expensive one, right? What's the difference between Plan B and Plan C? Okay, for example, if you happen to stay in a hospital abroad, Plan B covers flight tickets for your family to visit you, but Plan C doesn't. I see. If I get the special contract for scuba diving equipment and add it to Plan B or Plan C, would it be more expensive than Plan A? With Plan B, that would make it a little more expensive, but with Plan C, it would be less expensive. Okay. By the way, is there any plan that's cheaper than Plan C? Yes, we have Plan D, but it doesn't cover accommodation if your flight gets delayed or canceled, so we don't recommend this plan. Got it. I agree that I need coverage, but I don't think I need coverage for family plane tickets. So I'll take this plan and combine it with the insurance for scuba diving equipment. Which plan is he going to sign up for? A man is choosing an insurance plan. Which plan is he going to sign up for? What kind of trip will you be taking? I'm going scuba diving. Since I'll be bringing all my own equipment, I'm a bit worried about getting it stolen. Very smart of you. Insurance against theft is included in all of our plans. Since scuba diving equipment is an unusual type of baggage, only Plan A can cover it, though. Alternatively, you can get insurance specifically for scuba diving equipment and add it to other plans. Plan A is the most expensive one, right? What's the difference between Plan B and Plan C? Okay, for example, if you happen to stay in a hospital abroad, Plan B covers flight tickets for your family to visit you, but Plan C doesn't. I see. If I get the special contract for scuba diving equipment and add it to Plan B or Plan C, would it be more expensive than Plan A? With Plan B, that would make it a little more expensive. But with Plan C, it would be less expensive. Okay. By the way, is there any plan that's cheaper than Plan C? Yes, we have Plan D, but it doesn't cover accommodation if your flight gets delayed or canceled, so we don't recommend this plan. Got it. I agree that I need coverage, but I don't think I need coverage for family plane tickets. So I'll take this plan and combine it with the insurance for scuba diving equipment. A woman is asking about a library's lending policy. Which materials could she borrow at one time? Excuse me, can you tell me how to borrow books? Is it your first time at this library? Yes. 
Well then, I'll explain the rules to you. You can borrow up to six books and five CDs or DVDs at a time per person, but you can only borrow up to 10 items in total at a time. Everything needs to be returned in two weeks, and if you'd like to renew, please let us know before then. Can I also borrow magazines or newspapers? You can't borrow newspapers, but you can borrow magazines except for the latest issue. Can I return them through the mail? We can't accept returns through the mail. Please come to the library to return them. After hours, you can put them in the box next to the entrance. But items that are overdue, please return them directly to this desk. I see. Thank you very much. Which materials could she borrow at one time? A woman is asking about a library's lending policy. Which materials could she borrow at one time? Excuse me, can you tell me how to borrow books? Is it your first time at this library? Yes. Well then, I'll explain the rules to you. You can borrow up to six books and five CDs or DVDs at a time per person, but you can only borrow up to 10 items in total at a time. Everything needs to be returned in two weeks, and if you'd like to renew, please let us know before then. Can I also borrow magazines or newspapers? You can't borrow newspapers, but you can borrow magazines except for the latest issue. Can I return them through the mail? We can't accept returns through the mail. Please come to the library to return them. After hours, you can put them in the box next to the entrance. But items that are overdue, please return them directly to this desk. I see. Thank you very much. A woman and a supplier are talking on the phone. What is the woman going to get for the sale? I need you to deliver some more sweaters in time for the sale next month. Okay, what do you need? We need a thousand of the small red sweaters and 400 of the medium red sweaters. And we also need 600 of the small green sweaters and 200 of the medium green sweaters by the end of this month. Red and green sweaters. Actually, we're running low on green sweaters and we're waiting on some green yarn from our supplier. We'll get you started with the red sweaters, though. No, no, no. We need the red and green sweaters together. So please just get as many green sweaters ready as you can. Okay. I think we can get 200 of the green sweaters to you on time. Which size has higher priority? The small ones take priority. Sorry for such short notice, but we really need your help. All right, we'll do our best. We'll get those green sweaters to you along with all the red sweaters you ordered. What is the woman going to get for the sale? A woman and a supplier are talking on the phone. What is the woman going to get for the sale? I need you to deliver some more sweaters in time for the sale next month. Okay, what do you need? We need a thousand of the small red sweaters and 400 of the medium red sweaters. And we also need 600 of the small green sweaters and 200 of the medium green sweaters by the end of this month. Red and green sweaters. Actually, we're running low on green sweaters, and we're waiting on some green yarn from our supplier. We'll get you started with the red sweaters, though. No, no, no. We need the red and green sweaters together. So please just get as many green sweaters ready as you can. Okay. I think we can get 200 of the green sweaters to you on time. Which size has higher priority? The small ones take priority. Sorry for such short notice, but we really need your help. All right. We'll do our best. We'll get those green sweaters to you along with all the red sweaters you ordered. A woman is asking for directions to the airport at an information center. How is she going to get to the airport? Excuse me, I need to go to the airport. Would you tell me how to get there? Sure, there are a few ways. If you take bus number one, it takes about one and a half hours to the airport. It's the least expensive way. Bus number two is a nonstop bus. It's more expensive and leaves once every hour, but it only takes 50 minutes. I see. What about taxis? There's a taxi stand in front of the building, and they take about an hour. 
but they use the expressway and charge extra for a lot of luggage, so it's going to be a lot more expensive than the bus. I guess that makes sense, and I'd like to avoid paying too much. You didn't by chance buy anything at Shopping World while you were here. They offer complimentary shuttle service to the airport for customers who make a purchase there. Wow, I didn't know that. I haven't bought anything yet, but I was going to stop by and get some souvenirs there anyway. Then you can use that. How is she going to get to the airport? A woman is asking for directions to the airport at an information center. How is she going to get to the airport? Excuse me, I need to go to the airport. Would you tell me how to get there? Sure, there are a few ways. If you take bus number one, it takes about one and a half hours to the airport. It's the least expensive way. Bus number two is a nonstop bus. It's more expensive and leaves once every hour, but it only takes 50 minutes. I see. What about taxis? There's a taxi stand in front of the building, and they take about an hour. But they use the expressway and charge extra for a lot of luggage, so it's going to be a lot more expensive than the bus. I guess that makes sense, and I'd like to avoid paying too much. You didn't by chance buy anything at Shopping World while you were here. They offer complimentary shuttle service to the airport for customers who make a purchase there. Wow, I didn't know that. I haven't bought anything yet, but I was going to stop by and get some souvenirs there anyway. Then you can use that. A man and a woman are talking about office supplies. What will the man order? Every month you need to check our office supplies and order any items that are running low. This time, let's take a look at them together. Here's the checklist. Okay, that sounds good. Well, starting with the paper, it looks like there's only one box left. We use lots of paper every day, so let's order two more boxes. Okay, the printer is out of color ink. Should we order that? We don't really print documents in color, so we don't need to worry about that. Hmm, okay. Looks like these whiteboard markers are running out of ink. Right. Those need to be replaced. We get a discount if we order them in sets of five, so let's do that. Okay. And while we're at it, can we order a mouse? Sometimes it works, but sometimes it doesn't. That's probably because it's running out of batteries. Let's check the stock of batteries and order more if we don't have many left. Sure. Well, we have three batteries here. You can take two of these for your mouse, but buy a six-pack of batteries to replace them. What will the man order? A man and a woman are talking about office supplies. What will the man order? Every month you need to check our office supplies and order any items that are running low. This time, let's take a look at them together. Here's the checklist. Okay, that sounds good. Well, starting with the paper, it looks like there's only one box left. We use lots of paper every day, so let's order two more boxes. Okay, the printer is out of color ink. Should we order that? We don't really print documents in color, so we don't need to worry about that. Hmm, okay. Looks like these whiteboard markers are running out of ink. Right. Those need to be replaced. We get a discount if we order them in sets of five, so let's do that. Okay. And while we're at it, can we order a mouse? Sometimes it works, but sometimes it doesn't. That's probably because it's running out of batteries. Let's check the stock of batteries and order more if we don't have many left. Sure. Well, we have three batteries here. You can take two of these for your mouse, but buy a six-pack of batteries to replace them. A man and a woman are talking about the layout of a meeting room. How are they going to arrange the tables? Let's move the tables for tomorrow's meeting. All right. Shall we put all the tables in the center of the room so that everyone faces each other? Well, there's going to be a group session first, so let's separate the tables into four sections. Four people will be seated in each group. Okay. And I'll put some pens and pads of paper on each table. Thank you. And we'll have a short presentation at the beginning of the session, so we need a projector here. All right. Also, we're going to use a whiteboard, aren't we? Is it okay if I put the whiteboard next to the screen? Well, how about putting the whiteboard at the other end of the room? That makes sense. After the meeting, we need to put everything back where it was, in four rows of two tables per row. How are they going to arrange the tables?
A man and a woman are talking about the layout of a meeting room. How are they going to arrange the tables? Let's move the tables for tomorrow's meeting. All right. Shall we put all the tables in the center of the room so that everyone faces each other? Well, there's going to be a group session first, so let's separate the tables into four sections. Four people will be seated in each group. Okay. And I'll put some pens and pads of paper on each table. Thank you. And we'll have a short presentation at the beginning of the session, so we need a projector here. All right. Also, we're going to use a whiteboard, aren't we? Is it okay if I put the whiteboard next to the screen? Well, how about putting the whiteboard at the other end of the room? That makes sense. After the meeting, we need to put everything back where it was, in four rows of two tables per row. A man and a woman are choosing a hotel. Which hotel are they going to choose? We have to decide on the hotel for our trip next month. Okay, let's check the internet. The Ocean Hotel is near the beach. It says $120 a night per person, and you get a buffet breakfast. How about the Pine Hotel? It's $80 a night. I don't want to waste too much on accommodations. Hmm, but the Pine Hotel is far from the beach and from downtown, and it says you have to pay for Wi-Fi. What about the Sunrise Hotel? It usually costs $140 a night, but now they're running a promotion, and we can stay one night for $90. It's between the beach and downtown. Plus, it has free Wi-Fi. Sounds good. Oh, wait. It says the deal is for next week only. Oh, I didn't see that. So, how about this place, the Royal Hotel? It's located in the middle of downtown, and it costs $100 a night. The room doesn't look so nice, but they have free Wi-Fi. Okay, let's book this hotel. Oh, it's already fully booked. Shoot. Then I think the first one is best. Is it full? No, it's not. Great. Which hotel are they going to choose? A man and a woman are choosing a hotel. Which hotel are they going to choose? We have to decide on the hotel for our trip next month. Okay, let's check the internet. The Ocean Hotel is near the beach. It says $120 a night per person, and you get a buffet breakfast. How about the Pine Hotel? It's $80 a night. I don't want to waste too much on accommodations. Hmm, but the Pine Hotel is far from the beach and from downtown, and it says you have to pay for Wi-Fi. What about the Sunrise Hotel? It usually costs $140 a night, but now they're running a promotion, and we can stay one night for $90. It's between the beach and downtown. Plus, it has free Wi-Fi. Sounds good. Oh, wait. It says the deal is for next week only. Oh, I didn't see that. So, how about this place, the Royal Hotel? It's located in the middle of downtown, and it costs $100 a night. The room doesn't look so nice, but they have free Wi-Fi. Okay, let's book this hotel. Oh, it's already fully booked. Shoot. Then I think the first one is best. Is it full? No, it's not. Great. Want to speak real English from your first lesson? Sign up for your free lifetime account at EnglishClass101.com. A man and a woman are talking. Which one is the woman's daughter? Sorry to bother you, but could you go and get my daughter? Sure. Does she know me? Yeah. She's seen you in pictures, so she should be able to recognize you. That's helpful. So what does she look like? She has curly black hair. She's slim and taller than average. Do you have any idea what she'll be wearing? She said she'll be wearing the hat I gave her for her birthday. It's white with a black ribbon. It sounds like it will be easy enough. All right, I'll go get her now. Thank you. Which one is the woman's daughter? A man and a woman are talking. Which one is the woman's daughter? Sorry to bother you, but could you go and get my daughter? Sure. Does she know me? Yeah. She's seen you in pictures, so she should be able to recognize you. That's helpful. So what does she look like? She has curly black hair. She's slim and taller than average. Do you have any idea what she'll be wearing? 
She said she'll be wearing the hat I gave her for her birthday. It's white with a black ribbon. It sounds like it will be easy enough. All right, I'll go get her now. Thank you. A man is calling a doctor's office. What times are available for the health checkup? Hi, I'd like to make an appointment for a health checkup. Sure. Health checkups are a bit different from standard examinations and are available only on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Saturdays. Which day would you like? Okay, then is Saturday okay? Yes, it looks open. We're only open in the morning on Saturdays. Is that okay? Morning only? Hmm. What time are you open until on weekdays? We're open until 6 p.m. on Mondays and 8 p.m. on Wednesdays. I see. What time do you open in the morning? We open at 8 a.m. Next week, we're full all morning during the week. But if you can wait until the week after that, both Monday and Wednesday are open from 8 a.m. Well, I'll call again after I check my schedule. All right, sir. What times are available for the health checkup? A man is calling a doctor's office. What times are available for the health checkup? Hi, I'd like to make an appointment for a health checkup. Sure. Health checkups are a bit different from standard examinations and are available only on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Saturdays. Which day would you like? Okay, then is Saturday okay? Yes, it looks open. We're only open in the morning on Saturdays. Is that okay? Morning only? Hmm. What time are you open until on weekdays? We're open until 6 p.m. on Mondays and 8 p.m. on Wednesdays. I see. What time do you open in the morning? We open at 8 a.m. Next week, we're full all morning during the week. But if you can wait until the week after that, both Monday and Wednesday are open from 8 a.m. Well, I'll call again after I check my schedule. All right, sir. A woman is giving a report about the sales of bags. Which bag is selling best? Here's a report on the bags that we started selling last month. First of all, when it came to color, black was the number one seller. It's followed by white and sky blue. Yellow didn't sell very well. So yellow was a dud. Well, what about the size? Bigger bags sold more than smaller ones. Bags that could fit a magazine or a regular letter-sized notebook in them were the most popular. Okay. Regarding handles, leather was more popular than ones made with a metal chain. I see. It looks like bags with a more formal style sell better. That's right. I think we should use more neutral colors, such as beige or brown, for our new collection. Okay, then. Let's go with the beige for the next new color. You can stop the production of yellow bags. Got it. Which bag is selling best? A woman is giving a report about the sales of bags. Which bag is selling best? Here's a report on the bags that we started selling last month. First of all, when it came to color, black was the number one seller. It's followed by white and sky blue. Yellow didn't sell very well. So yellow was a dud. Well, what about the size? Bigger bags sold more than smaller ones. Bags that could fit a magazine or a regular letter-sized notebook in them were the most popular. Okay. Regarding handles, leather was more popular than ones made with a metal chain. I see. It looks like bags with a more formal style sell better. That's right. I think we should use more neutral colors, such as beige or brown, for our new collection. Okay, then. Let's go with the beige for the next new color. You can stop the production of yellow bags. Got it. A man is shopping during a sale. What will he buy? 
Excuse me, do you only sell this shirt in packs of three? We can sell them separately, but it's going to cost you more per shirt. All right, well, I don't need three of the same shirt. You know, if you buy this set of three ties, we can give you a discount on shirts so you can buy three for the price of one. I see. A set of three ties, and I also get to choose three shirts for the price of one? That's right. Okay. I don't need three shirts, but I'll give the other shirts to someone else. That's a nice idea, sir. What will he buy? A man is shopping during a sale. What will he buy? Excuse me, do you only sell this shirt in packs of three? We can sell them separately, but it's going to cost you more per shirt. All right, well, I don't need three of the same shirt. You know, if you buy this set of three ties, we can give you a discount on shirts so you can buy three for the price of one. I see. A set of three ties, and I also get to choose three shirts for the price of one? That's right. Okay. I don't need three shirts, but I'll give the other shirts to someone else. That's a nice idea, sir. A woman is ordering a birthday cake. Which cake is she going to order? Excuse me, I'd like to order a birthday cake for my daughter. Great! Could you tell me what kind of cake you're looking for? My daughter likes chocolate, so I think a chocolate cream cake would be good. And can you put strawberries on it? Absolutely. We have round and square cakes. Which one would you prefer? Hmm. A round one, please. Okay. How old is your daughter going to be? She'll be 12. Okay. Then we'll get 12 candles ready. Do you want to write a message? Yes. Please write, Happy Birthday. All right. Do you want that written in pink? If so, we'll put it on a white plate. Otherwise, we can write it in white and put it on a pink plate. Please write it in pink and put it on a white plate. Which cake is she going to order? A woman is ordering a birthday cake. Which cake is she going to order? Excuse me, I'd like to order a birthday cake for my daughter. Great! Could you tell me what kind of cake you're looking for? My daughter likes chocolate so I think a chocolate cream cake would be good. And can you put strawberries on it? Absolutely. We have round and square cakes. Which one would you prefer? Hmm. A round one, please. Okay. How old is your daughter going to be? She'll be 12. Okay. Then we'll get 12 candles ready. Do you want to write a message? Yes. Please write, Happy Birthday. All right. Do you want that written in pink? If so, we'll put it on a white plate. Otherwise, we can write it in white and put it on a pink plate. Please write it in pink and put it on a white plate. A man is looking for an apartment. Which apartment is he probably going to choose? Hi there. I'm looking for an apartment. Could you show me some floor plans? Sure thing. Will you be living alone? No, I'm married and we're looking for a one-bedroom apartment with a study. Okay, how about this one? There are two rooms plus a living room. It's near a busy street, though, so it might not be very quiet. I see. I usually work at home, so I need a quiet place, and I'd prefer the living room to be square-shaped. Well, how about this one? It's located a bit far from downtown, but it's in a quiet residential area. There are two rooms and a living room, but one of the rooms is a little small. Hmm, we don't have too much stuff, so this one might work for us. We can show you another apartment with bigger rooms, but it's located further from downtown. No, thank you. Let's have a look at the second one you showed me. Which apartment is he probably going to choose? A man is looking for an apartment. Which apartment is he probably going to choose? Hi there. I'm looking for an apartment. Could you show me some floor plans? Sure thing. Will you be living alone? No, I'm married, and we're looking for a one-bedroom apartment with a study. 
Okay, how about this one? There are two rooms plus a living room. It's near a busy street, though, so it might not be very quiet. I see. I usually work at home, so I need a quiet place. And I'd prefer the living room to be square shaped. Well, how about this one? It's located a bit far from downtown, but it's in a quiet residential area. There are two rooms and a living room, but one of the rooms is a little small. Hmm, we don't have too much stuff, so this one might work for us. We can show you another apartment with bigger rooms, but it's located further from downtown. No, thank you. Let's have a look at the second one you showed me. A woman is calling a restaurant on the phone. At which table was she having lunch? Hello, how can I help you? Hi, I was at your restaurant for lunch today, and I think I left my scarf there. You left your scarf at the table? Do you remember where you were seated? Well, it was in the back of the restaurant. Were you in the smoking area or the non smoking area? The non smoking area. How big was your table? It was a table for four people. Okay, I'll go check. Please wait for a moment. Thank you so much. At which table was she having lunch? A woman is calling a restaurant on the phone. At which table was she having lunch? Hello, how can I help you? Hi, I was at your restaurant for lunch today, and I think I left my scarf there. You left your scarf at the table? Do you remember where you were seated? Well, it was in the back of the restaurant. Were you in the smoking area or the non smoking area? The non smoking area. How big was your table? It was a table for four people. Okay, I'll go check. Please wait for a moment. Thank you so much. Want to speak real English from your first lesson? Sign up for your free lifetime account at EnglishClass101.com. A man and a woman are talking on the phone. When is the man going to see the dentist? I'm sorry, but can you please cancel my appointment for today? Sure thing. Is there another day when you can come in? How about Saturday? The morning is better for me. I'm afraid this Saturday is fully booked. We can put you in for next Saturday, though. Actually, one of my teeth is starting to hurt. Can we do late afternoon on Thursday? Yes, both five o'clock and six o'clock are available. Six o'clock sounds good. Sure thing. We'll schedule you for then. When is the man going to see the dentist? A man and a woman are talking on the phone. When is the man going to see the dentist? I'm sorry, but can you please cancel my appointment for today? Sure thing. Is there another day when you can come in? How about Saturday? The morning is better for me. I'm afraid this Saturday is fully booked. We can put you in for next Saturday, though. Actually, one of my teeth is starting to hurt. Can we do late afternoon on Thursday? Yes, both five o'clock and six o'clock are available. Six o'clock sounds good. Sure thing. We'll schedule you for then. A man and a woman are talking. Who lives with the man? I'd like to introduce you to my family. Is there some time soon you could come over? Wow, this is a big step. Could you tell me a bit more about your family before I meet them? Sure. My father works in computers and his hobby is fishing. My mother runs a restaurant and she's good at cooking. They live nearby. Do you have any brothers and sisters? Yes, I have an older sister and a younger brother. My sister is married and is living abroad. My brother is in law school over on the East Coast. It sounds like you have a nice family. I'd love to meet them. Who lives with the man?
A man and a woman are talking. Who lives with the man? I'd like to introduce you to my family. Is there some time soon you could come over? Wow, this is a big step. Could you tell me a bit more about your family before I meet them? Sure. My father works in computers and his hobby is fishing. My mother runs a restaurant and she's good at cooking. They live nearby. Do you have any brothers and sisters? Yes. I have an older sister and a younger brother. My sister is married and is living abroad. My brother is in law school over on the East Coast. It sounds like you have a nice family. I'd love to meet them. A woman is talking to her doctor. Which and how many medicines will she have to take every day? Well, I'm giving you three kinds of medicine. Please take them after dinner every day. Okay. Take two of the round pills, one capsule, and one eardrop each time. Sure. I'm giving you a three day course of medicine. If you're not better after that, come and see me again. Thank you very much. Get well soon. Which and how many medicines will she have to take every day? A woman is talking to her doctor. Which and how many medicines will she have to take every day? Well, I'm giving you three kinds of medicine. Please take them after dinner every day. Okay. Take two of the round pills, one capsule, and one eardrop each time. Sure. I'm giving you a three day course of medicine. If you're not better after that, come and see me again. Thank you very much. Get well soon. A husband and wife are shopping online. When will the vacuum cleaner be delivered? Which vacuum do you like better? Well, I think this one looks nice. Yeah, it does. It'll take three or four days to deliver. Can we be here next Saturday? No, we're going to play golf Saturday morning. Okay, then maybe we can have it delivered Sunday. Sounds good. Hey, let's remember not to stay out too late Friday night. We have to get up early on Sunday. I know. When will the vacuum cleaner be delivered? A husband and wife are shopping online. When will the vacuum cleaner be delivered? Which vacuum do you like better? Well, I think this one looks nice. Yeah, it does. It'll take three or four days to deliver. Can we be here next Saturday? No, we're going to play golf Saturday morning. Okay, then maybe we can have it delivered Sunday. Sounds good. Hey, let's remember not to stay out too late Friday night. We have to get up early on Sunday. I know. A man is going to have dinner at a restaurant. What time will the restaurant close? Excuse me, how late are you open? We're open until 11 p.m., but the kitchen closes at 10 p.m. Is that okay? Yes, sure, thanks. It's pretty late, so I thought you were already closed. We used to close this place at 10 p.m., but we pushed it back. Oh, I see. But we closed the restaurant at 9 on Sunday. Got it. What time will the restaurant close? A man is going to have dinner at a restaurant. What time will the restaurant close? Excuse me, how late are you open? We're open until 11 p.m., but the kitchen closes at 10 p.m. Is that okay? Yes, sure, thanks. It's pretty late, so I thought you were already closed. We used to close this place at 10 p.m., but we pushed it back. 
Oh, I see. But we close the restaurant at 9 on Sunday. Got it.